Hi, welcome or welcome back if you're new. I haven't spoken to the camera once this video. We had friends in town from South Florida who we haven't seen since their gender reveal back in the, I think the end of September, early October. Christian of course has seen them because they live in South Florida and that's where Christian, Christian's family is. So over the holidays, he got to see them of course, but I feel deprived of them. They're expecting their first baby and the baby's due in April. I'm so excited. It's so fun to just see her pregnant and see her in this phase of life. I'm so excited for them. So they were in town and we were just hanging out with them and they left last night to go see more people, but they're still in town for the weekend. And they came in Friday night. We went out to dinner with them and hung out with them all day yesterday and it was just the best time ever. So I wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog. Welcome you back to another video. I'm just getting ready right now, doing some laundry, getting ready for the week. I think I want to deep clean the apartment, I think. Um, I did get my hair done on Friday. I got like an inch, give or take, taken off the ends and got like a little angled haircut and then a shadow root. It looks a mess right now because I haven't brushed it or even styled it yet today, but it feels really nice just having fresh hair. She just did a partial. So I love switching on and off between like a partial and a full each time I go and I go about every like 10 weeks, give or take maybe 10 to 12. Sometimes I like to push it. So, and then she did this really great Orbe treatment in my hair. My hair feels so healthy and smooth. So I need to look up what treatment it was and apparently it's new. So I really wanna look into that because my hair felt so soft and smooth. It still does. I haven't washed it yet. So let me just like fix my hair a little bit. It is so cold in Orlando <laughs> this weekend. It's been in the 50s and in the 40s at night. It's so cold and it's been nice because I kind of, I have a lot of, not a lot, but I have some cold weather clothes that I never get to wear because it's only cold for like a little bit here and there and then it picks, the temperature gets back up and then it drops. So I've been really liking being able to wear my cold weather clothes because I don't get to do that very often. But I'm sometimes wishing for warm weather and tank tops and I want to lay out in the sun. Like I just want to like, I don't know. I'm like kind of wishing for summer, but I don't want to wish away the cold weather because we also don't get it that often, but very cold here. So I already, I'm starting my makeup and I wanted to share some products from Merit Beauty and I've been working with Merit Beauty for years now. I remember getting my first little kit in the mail and I just love how they have evolved into so many different products as a brand. It's one of my favorite brands and ever since trying their Perfection Complexion Stick, I have used this during the work week, every single week continuously. I've repurchased it so many times. It's the only product that I wear on my face throughout the week. Kind of doubles as a concealer and a foundation. It's buildable. You can kind of make it more or less coverage however you want to wear it. I think it's perfect and it truly is something that I keep repurchasing. I don't like wearing a lot of makeup during the work week. I wear the most makeup kind of on the weekends. I wear foundation, concealer, things like that. And during the work week, I like to give myself a little bit of a break. Here or there, I might put on a little bit more makeup depending on what's happening that day at work. But a majority of the time, I wear very minimal, simple makeup. Truly, it takes me five minutes to get ready for work. So this time I got the shade This, which is a little bit darker. The shade that I have right now, and it's so funny because I was just thinking <laughs> the other week that I'm running low on this and I need a new one. So this is a little bit darker of a shade. Got it a little bit more for summer, but I rotate between Dune and Bisque. So this is what they look like next to each other. This one can be a little bit light if I do have self tanner on. So that is the main thing. It can be a little bit light on me, but as my self tanner kind of wears off, I get a little bit more fair. That is when it matches me perfectly. So this one will be nice to have to kind of help when I am a little bit tanner. So I got that. And then I got another one of their great skin. Um, serums. I've had this before and it's one of my favorite serums. The only thing that I don't like about it is the way like the way that it squirts everywhere when it comes out, but it is a really great serum, good base under makeup. I love it. I feel like it made such a difference in how my skin looked. So 
so I picked that up. So excited to have this back in my routine. I really, really do love this. Lastly, this is what I'm so excited about. I picked up their new blush. This is in the color Rouge. When I opened this, I was shocked at the color. It is so stunning. And it's funny because I have been wearing red, I have worn a reddish orange blush. I wear it every single day to work. And let me show you. I actually got this for my birthday last year. It's in the color Picante by Nude Sticks. And it's like more of an orange red, but I've been wearing that every single day and I love wearing, layering it with like a different color blush over top of it. I feel like it mixes so well with other colors. So here is the new blush color. It is like the most gorgeous red color. And I'm so excited about it. So I wanted to kind of do a first impression of it while I'm getting ready. I'm going to use their little brush as well. Oh, wow. It comes on like a little bit more like pinky sheer. I feel like you could never have too much blush. Like it just blends out so flawlessly, especially with this brush. Okay, this is the most stunning color. It is a very scary color to look at. I mean, as you can see, it's so bright and red, but it goes on so creamy, so smooth. It blends out so nicely. I think this is gonna be replacing my other blush as my go-to. Truly, I don't think, I just keep adding more. Truly, I don't think Vera Beauty can do any wrong. I'm obsessed, I love it. I will link these products down below just in case you're interested in picking something up from Merit Beauty. I am so excited about this blush. It is definitely going to be replacing that other one in my routine. So I'm just finishing getting ready for the day and I guess I'll give you guys an update on wedding planning and let you know what I've booked so far. I can't believe we're kind of close to being a year out from the wedding. And it's crazy that Christian and I have been engaged for now five months. And I just feel like the five months flew by. So I have a feeling that this year is gonna fly by. Um, we have our venue booked. We booked that last year. So we booked that and the date. Obviously when you book a venue, you need to book a date. And then I booked a wedding planner, which was the first thing I actually booked before the venue. So I booked a wedding planner that I booked and I did a full wedding planning, like full. I didn't want partial. I need like the help. <laughs> so I booked full. We booked a photographer, which I'm so excited about the photographer. She's just incredible. She's a friend of Christian and Christian's family, um, best friends with her Christian sister. And she just does incredible work. And I'm just so excited to work with her. She's actually doing our engagement photos and we booked engagement photos in March. So we're doing that in March and um, those will be used on like our save the dates and everything. So I'm excited about that. And next month in February, we have a food tasting at the venue and it's with all of the bride and grooms that are maybe interested in booking at our venue or have booked at our venue. So we get that when we booked our wedding venue, we already got this reserved, a reserved spot for us there. So we're gonna do that. I think this is just like an overview of like drinks, food, desserts. This isn't like our full venue food tasting for like the food that we picked. It is a little bit early on, so we might do that again as we get closer. So I'm really excited about that because I can't wait to just taste some of the food. So that's what we have. Coming up, my wedding planner was saying that we need to start doing wedding dress shopping once we hit like a year out. Then I need to ask my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids. I have always been very curious about a specific wedding dress find that I would go for. I knew exactly what I did not want in a wedding dress. I feel like I've always kind of known what I don't want, but I've never known what I like actually want. And I would see someone and I'd be like, um, I obviously haven't tried any on and yesterday I was on TikTok and I saw you know the trend of like 
me the first day I wore my wedding dress and me the last time I wore my wedding dress or something like that, I saw a dress that I literally have, I, I, I just instantly saw and I was like, oh my god, I need to try that on. <laughs> That's like literally what I want without like me voicing what I want because at the end of the day I didn't know how, I don't know. That is the update on just like the wedding planning and what we have coming up. And we obviously have a long way to go. We have barely even scratched the surface. I've been talking to a videographer, which I'm excited about. Um, I think we're gonna end up booking him and I love his work. And I'm just so excited about the video aspect, doing YouTube and documenting things. My absolute favorite thing is video capturing. I'm, I just love it. So it's definitely something that I wanna make room for in my budget. I'd rather cut somewhere else in like decor or something because when it comes down to it, decor, I'm not gonna take home with me. I'm not gonna reuse. I'd rather cut there or cut somewhere else than cut on a videographer and a photographer. Anyways, that's the update. I'm gonna stop rambling and finish getting ready. I have to do some laundry and then I wanna clean. I always feel so silly wearing a puffer in Florida, but it's 58 degrees. I'm wearing like a thin black long sleeve and leggings and I do have Uggs on. But I always feel so silly wearing a puffer in Florida because I feel like it never really gets that cold and I kind of look like I'm going skiing. But I think 58 degrees is appropriate for a puffer vest and I never get to wear these. Um, I got them not this past Christmas but the Christmas before. I got these from Amazon. I got it in brown and black. I think they're so cute. They're like a little cropped and they're pretty affordable too. So Christian and I just deep cleaned the apartment and it feels so good. Every time I deep clean the apartment, I just feel like a weight is like lifted off my shoulders. I just feel like I can breathe again. Can anyone else relate? Like there's truly nothing better than having a pristine clean apartment. And like, especially like ending a week and going into a work week after deep cleaning and I'm about to meal prep and grocery, go to the grocery store. I can't even put a better feeling into words right now. Like there is truly nothing better. We just got home from dinner. We got Mexican for dinner and I'm folding towels. I forgot about these in the dryer. I'm getting these folded and then I'm gonna get in the shower. I have to share an update on my dry shampoo and I'll get that when I'm done, but I just went through the whole bottle of my dry shampoo today and I just wanted to give like an honest review or update of it. I think one of my favorite tasks is actually doing laundry. I think it's kind of therapeutic, especially clothes. For some reason, not so much towels, but clothes. There's nothing like, sorry, the lighting is so bad. I wish we had a lamp over here or something, but the overhead lighting is even worse than this. So I refuse to turn on the fan. It's so blurry. In my opinion, there is nothing better than putting your clean clothes on a hanger and putting it in the closet. That is, it's my favorite task. It's like using all your hangers to put your clothes back. It's like the satisfaction of not having a lot of leftover hangers. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like I'd rather have those tasks excite me, those simple tasks that you do all the time than anything else. I feel like it's good. It's good to have stuff like that. Little tasks that make you happy in some way that don't really cost any money. So I wanted to give an update on the Vegamore dry shampoo because I just ran out of this container today and I had it for probably about five weeks maybe just about five weeks. And I recently switched to this from Batiste, which I was using Batiste for probably six years. Ever since I started training my hair to go a little bit longer between washes and not washed every single day, that's when I started using Batiste dry shampoo. It was cheap, it did the job. I honestly didn't know the difference between what a high-end Dry shampoo felt like in your hair. I just used Batiste, cheapest thing, easiest thing, did the job. So I just stuck to it. Recently, I've been focusing on a lot of hair health and 
switching dry shampoos because I read like a whole article and then I went on a deep dive of like how bad dry shampoo is for you, for your hair, for your scalp, things like that. So it kind of just eye-opening and a little bit scary. So I switched to Vegamore because it's an all-natural dry shampoo and I love this stuff. It will take a lot for me to try something new, especially something that's way more expensive. I wouldn't say this is like really expensive. It's like $30 for the size. It is pretty small, but it lasted me about five weeks. I wash my hair twice a week. I use dry shampoo. I use it basically every single day. Maybe not so much on clean hair days, but I definitely use it between washes every single day. But since I use it every single day, it was just a little bit concerning. Like I'm using something that's Batiste, it's not necessarily the best for my hair, my scalp, chemical wise. So that's what made me switch to Vegamore's dry shampoo. And I'm obsessed with it, I love it. I find that I don't need as much dry shampoo as I did with Batiste and it doesn't leave, like Batiste would leave this like film on my hair and this like heaviness and this weight on my scalp where I would apply it and after like a couple applications of it, so much product. This is incredible. It doesn't leave like a huge product buildup on your hair over time. You don't need as much. This sounds sponsored, but it's totally not. Like I am obsessed, like I just ran out and by week two of using it, I bought the three pack on the Vegamore website because I realized that I couldn't live without this stuff. It is that good. And Vegamore is always doing little deals on their site to where you can get percentages off. So, and then I think it is a little bit cheaper to buy the set of three, um, but you can also get it at Sephora if you don't want to order it online. You can just get it at Sephora like I did originally with this. But it is 3.95 ounces. But like I said, it does last five weeks. I am definitely converted to a more high-end dry shampoo, I guess you could say. I always thought it was silly to spend $30 on a dry shampoo, but this last five weeks in a Batiste dry shampoo can barely get me through two weeks and I'm using like so much. The price, I'm buying three dry shampoos basically would equal the price of this, if not more. So I'm definitely converted. I will link this down below. It's the best dry shampoo I've tried, all natural. Yeah, I just really wanted to share like an update because I said that I would. And a lot of times when I say that I will share an update on a product, I feel like I forget about it. But since I ran out today, I really wanted to just share my experience with kind of switching to a better for you dry shampoo. And yeah.